The buzzard. For many people, another Asian piece of tech, another case of It's not a Mark II, so who cares? But many people will remember the buzzard in a different kind of light as the helicopter to use during the early days of GTA Online. Up until the Oppressor Mark I came out, the Buzzard was the go-to tool for every job. Whether it was a mission or going from A to B, the Buzzard was the go-to way for transport. Especially when the CEO menu was introduced and you could spawn one instantly. At that point, the Buzzard became the Mark II of its time. It was fast, small, and pretty nimble, so it got you where you needed to be much quicker. It could also hover over water to pick up any crates that you might have lost or any lost teammates at sea. And sure, there were other options available too, like for example the Savage, which was released in the highest update. And it had good fire power for sure, but it wasn't as small and nimble and it wasn't as quick and easy to use as a buzzard. It was a lot heavier and a lot more difficult to use. And for that reason, the buzzard was essentially just a no-brainer. And as it stands today, the buzzard still has a place in GTA Online, mostly for who like it for what it is, the fast, small and pretty nimble helicopter that you can spawn from your CEO menu. Sure, the lock-on missiles are nowhere near as good as the Mark II's, and it doesn't really do anything special in this day and age. But it is a friendly reminder that even in the early days of GTA Online, there was plenty of toys to use to make missions easier if you have the 1.75 million dollars for it. But those are just some of my thoughts about the buzzard. Of course, I would love to know what you think about your memories and all the good stuff. Do you still use the buzzard in this day and age or have you decided to trade it in for the Mark II like probably 95% of the player base? Let me know in those comments down below. But you know, it's also pretty nimble, Dr. Strange Love. Join him and the other fellow members by becoming a member by clicking the join button down below. But with all that said and with all that done, that was it for this one. Thank you all so very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all later.